a critical milestone in nuclear fusion research has just been accomplished. It was confirmed a few days ago by the US Department of Energy, although the organization publicly disclosed this significant scientific achievement a few hours ago, and it is absolutely mind-blowing. Excited about what it is? Then stay tuned as we tell you more about this incredible groundbreaking research. It's now been brought to public knowledge that scientists at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory in California have achieved a net energy gain through an experimental fusion reactor. This is undoubtedly a significant milestone in the decades-long multi-billion dollar effort to build a technology that delivers endless, inexpensive, clean electricity. We are talking about the exact same sort that powers the sun. That would be the first time researchers successfully created more energy in a fusion reaction. It is a major discovery in research that might be a significant step towards zero carbon energy. Energy Secretary Jennifer Granham hailed the accomplishment as one of the most amazing scientific triumphs of the 21st century. Since the 1950s, scientists have searched for the holy grail of carbon-free energy. It is still at least a decade, if not decades, away from commercial usage. Still, the new achievement is expected to be hailed by the Biden administration as proof of the government's tremendous investment over the years. Vast sums of private and public money have been poured into the fusion race throughout the globe to eventually produce fusion equipment that might supply energy to the grid with no carbon impact, no radioactive waste, and significantly fewer resources than solar and wind power. Aside from the environmental advantages, proponents think it might help supply inexpensive power to disadvantaged areas of the globe. The spokesman for LLNL has said that their study is currently underway. It was also confirmed that the fusion reaction that delivered a 120% net energy gain happened in the last two weeks. Two sources acquainted with the study corroborated the finding, with a top fusion scientist disclosing the news. To most of us, this was simply a matter of time. Some scientists see nuclear fusion as a viable future energy source because it creates no waste and emits no greenhouse emissions. If this fusion energy breakthrough is accurate, it might be a game-changer for the globe. Ted Lieu, a California congressman, tweeted. Note, however, that nuclear fusion differs from nuclear fission. Nuclear fission divides prominent atomic nuclei into smaller ones to liberate vast amounts of energy. This is typically accomplished by pushing the nuclei to absorb neutrons, often present in the atomic nucleus with protons. Humanity has used the phenomena to supply electricity through nuclear power plants and to power nuclear weapons. Fission is a nuclear transmutation in which the beginning elements are not the same as the consequent or daughter product atoms. Fission may occur spontaneously as radioactive decay. However, it is uncommon, prolonged and limited to heavy chemical components. The discovery of induced fission would not have been conceivable without Ernest Rutherford and Niles Bohr's efforts in the 1910s to create a cohesive image of the atom. This led to the discovery by Henri Becquerel, Marie Curie, Pierre Curie and Rutherford that element atoms may decay and transform into another element by emitting an alpha particle. But that's not our primary focus for this video. The nuclear fusion is. So, let's quickly get back to it. In nuclear fusion, two atoms are smashed together at very high speeds and the energy from that reaction is converted into electricity. It can then be used to power buildings like homes and workplaces and it does so without releasing carbon into the atmosphere or releasing radioactive waste into the environment. Scientists have been working with fusion reactions for decades but have yet to generate one that creates more energy than it consumes. Thankfully, nuclear fusion power is getting closer to becoming a reality. Super high-powered lasers are all aimed at a tiny fuel target at the LLNL's National Ignition Facility for the experiment. During trials, 192 high-intensity lasers converge on a peppercorn-sized target, scorching a capsule of tritium and deuterium to over 3 million degrees Celsius and temporarily imitating stellar conditions, Harubi said. 
The LLNL Fusion Facility comprises over 200 lasers the size of three football fields that blast a tiny location with high amounts of energy to start a fusion reaction. According to the Energy Department, LLNL's experiment exceeded the fusion threshold by sending 2.05 megajoules of energy to the target, which resulted in 3.15 megajoules of fusion energy production, establishing, for the first time, a most basic physics underpinning for inertial fusion energy. Officials claim it's a big step forward in providing an unlimited supply of clean, inexpensive electricity without using radioactive waste or fossil fuels. This is a triumph for mankind, said Mikkel Binderbauer, CEO of TAE Technologies. It will provide the backbone of consistent, dependable electricity all through the day, seven days a week, to power that whole ecosystem of electrified objects. The quest of fusion ignition in the laboratory is no doubt one of the most critical scientific problems ever confronted by mankind, and success is a victory of science engineering and, most importantly, people," stated LLNL Director Dr. Kim Boodle. As we mentioned earlier, Kim Boodle is also a firm believer that this project should be given some time to become a reality. You need a strong driving system to allow it. So, yeah, probably decades. I don't believe it's been six decades. It's not five decades, as we used to say. I think it's moving to the forefront, and a few decades of study on the underlying technologies might put us in a position to construct a power plant with focused effort and funding, he said. According to scientists, if entirely developed, fusion energy might power large cities and the batteries in our automobiles. However, this might take a decade or more. We could eliminate fossil fuels quickly and permanently if we had a fusion, right? It would be game over since we would have all the energy we needed, if not more. Adam Frank, an astronomy professor at the University of Rochester, agreed. While this is a huge accomplishment, there are still enormous technical and scientific difficulties ahead, which are typical. The Inflation Reduction Act may propel climate change technology into the future. Many major scientific and technological advances are still required to accomplish simple, inexpensive inertial fusion energy to power homes and businesses. The DOE is resuming a broad-based coordinated inertial fusion energy initiative in the United States. There is a lot of impetus to push quick progress toward fusion commercialization when combined with private sector investment. There is the issue of whether the technology will be developed in time to make a difference in the fight against climate change. Nonetheless, fusion experts and investors lauded the discovery as a significant step forward. There will be considerable pleasure that this occurred in the United States, said David Edelman, Policy and Global Affairs Director for TAE, a substantial private fusion energy business. This is a significant milestone on the path to fusion energy. The enormous amount of net energy gain required to use one of the world's most powerful lasers and the resources necessary to duplicate the reaction on the scale needed to make fusion practicable for energy generation. More crucially, engineers have yet to create gear capable of converting that reaction into energy that can feasibly be distributed to the electrical grid at a reasonable cost. According to experts, building devices big enough to generate fusion power at scale would need the use of materials that are very difficult to make. At the same time, the reaction produces neutrons, which hugely strain the equipment used to manufacture it, potentially destroying it. For the last few decades, the United States, Russia, and different European governments have spent billions of dollars attempting to perfect the science, thinking that if they succeeded, it would benefit the rest of the globe. So this discovery has perfect timing. It comes at a time when the Biden administration emphasizes fusion energy research as part of its climate and energy strategy. The projects are among the first in line for billions of dollars in subsidies and incentives permitted by the Inflation Reduction Act, a significant climate package signed by Biden during the summer. We see the LLNL handling this project. What do you think? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. We hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if yes, 
We're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.